First at 6, we have new details from the Target 12 investigators on the murder of an 81-year-old Woonsocket woman. DNA evidence has played a key role in keeping the accused killer locked up without bail. And at a bail hearing today, an expert testified about other DNA evidence found at the scene. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau joins us now live in studio with the exclusive details. Matthew Dussault's attorneys and family have emphasized he is mentally disabled with an IQ below 70 and probably did not understand his rights when he was arrested. They hope a judge will agree to release him on bail while the prosecution insists he should remain in the ACI until trial. 22-year-old Matthew Dussault back in court for a bail hearing today. About 16 months after court documents indicate he told Woonsocket police he was in Constance Gothier's home as she was stabbed to death in March of 2017. According to the arrest warrant, he claimed Gothier's neighbor, Tyler Grennan, committed the crime and he tried to push him away from the body. The charges against Grennan were dismissed earlier this year due to a lack of evidence. I do. Department of Health DNA lab supervisor uh -huh. Carla Lupino testified what is known as touch DNA. More than likely skin cells was discovered mixed in with blood on dresser and nightstand drawers and a jewelry box in Gothier's bedroom where her body was found with more than 60 stab wounds. What findings, if any, were made as a result of that comparison? Both Constance Gothier and Matthew Dussault were included in that DNA mixture. Lupino testified the blood was more than likely Gothier's while the touch DNA was more than likely Dussault's. As she was questioned by the defense, Lupino told the court other pieces of evidence contained the DNA of two other males, but she said neither one has been identified. She also said touch DNA can last for years, potentially supporting a claim made by Dussault's mother who told Target 12 her family is related to Constance Gothier and her son had been in the house several times over the years. The prosecution asked if touch DNA would likely remain on items like the jewelry box and furniture for years. Lupino acknowledged microscopic DNA like skin cells would more than likely last longer on certain surfaces. One more witness is expected to testify in the bail hearing that will continue next week. A trial date has not been set. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.